Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I bring tidings of good news today. Brand new blind bags are in my reach. These have actually been given to me by Shia Khan from Shia Khan Industries. Me and him hung out yesterday and we're seeing each other again today. He's in Minneapolis for just the weekend. We're going to shoot a really cool video at a sort of custom modding shop for Lego and Mega Constructs. Like this video series we're about to put out is super exciting and Last night he came round, we had some pizza, we watched a game, and he gave me these blind bags. And, <laughs> like, Shere Khan, first of all, is uh, a really great YouTuber. He has the YouTube channel Shere Khan Industries, and I would really love if you show him some support and subscribe. He has an enormous project that he's been working on for many years called the Zulu Project. And this thing is an enormous diorama, like the size of an entire room. It has custom-fitted lights and sounds running through it, like it's unbelievable. So you really need to check out the Zulu Project. I'll link it, I'll pin it in the comments down below. Today, he sent me some rare blind bags. Like, look at this. We're going to check them all out. We're going to open some of them. First of all, we've got a Delta. Delta is like, you know, it's a really good set and it comes with that flood. I imagine Shear is the kind of guy who will have coded these, so I doubt there's a flood in there. But we've still got a really nice Delta pack. Series 5. Look at that. Series 5 and 4 are some of my favorites because the packaging is actually a Spartan's helmet. I think that's just a really dope feature. And another Flood. Look at that. We got two different kinds of Flood. This also has the pink air assault, which is pretty special. Then... Series 5, look at that. There is also a chase version of Series 5 called Series 5.5, and it has a black EVA. Delta Series again. All right, let's start stacking the similar series, because I think that's going to happen a few times. Alpha, yes. The first of the alphabetic blind bag series. An introduction to the new articulation, and that Halo 4 Marine is so badass. So really excited for that. Alpha Series... Alpha series. <laughs> Aha, Halo Universe Series 1. And I think I know what's inside this one. I believe it's the monkey. Shere Khan watched my video uh, building a monkey army, and I think he tried to score me a few of these. I got a really busy day, and I'm going to meet up with Shere Khan in a few hours, so I just wanted to get something out for you guys in the meantime. Halo Universe Series 5. Halo Universe. Halo Universe, oh yes, and something very special. This is one of the rarest blind bag series there is. This had just appalling distribution. It just disappeared off the face of the earth, like almost immediately after release. Echo series, let's go. I don't actually have any of Echo series. I believe I have the Noble 6, the Mark 5B in orange, but the rest of it I don't have. So I'm really looking forward to opening some of these. The Elite Ranger, the Arbiter, the Jackal, even that Marine. Oh, Oh, wow, it's a really dope set. Echo series, what an exciting addition. Then we've got two more bags. Oh no, three more bags. Alpha series, series five, and Echo series. Woo hoo hoo! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blind bags. All, actually not all old school. These are the newest blind bags there is, so they are dope. I have a good feeling that they're all brutes. That would be really dope. So four Halo Universe, two Echo, five Alpha, four Series 5, and two Delta. What are we gonna open first? I think I've already decided we're going to bust open one of these Alpha series. I just love Alpha. I love what they were doing. I love like it was one of the first sets that they sort of had them all fighting in a realistic environment. Like this is a map from Halo 4, so I just love that whole feel to it. The half AC Brute Stalker is dope. Like this is from all different eras of Halo. I also love the muzzle flares added to the, uh, and the explosions in the background. Like this is dope. This is really dope. Let's see. Which one's it gonna be? I think it's this one. This feels like a lucky bag. Actually, actually, no it doesn't. That feels like a grunt. No, I don't want the grunt. No, no, no. This is something else. This might be a brute, which is pretty exciting. And let's bust open Alpha Series. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That didn't quite do it. There we go. Peel that open. I don't want to damage the packaging too much. Three, two, one. What's it gonna be? Hey, hey, I called it. It's the Brute Captain. Very, very nice. 
The Brute Captain is a really dope one. Like, the Brutes and the Elites, I mean, none of the Covenant were ready for new articulation yet. It was only the Spartans and Marines that got new articulation at this time, but look at that. Also, yeah, old articulation, you can knock it, but actually, way better paint apps than new articulation. Like, I don't really think we've seen these kind of paint apps on new articulation. Like, maybe we have. Maybe the new Halo Universe Brutes do have some really good. Uh, yeah, but also, it's like plain colors, right? It's like single colors. This is real painted application here. Look at that belt. The detail on there is actually really nice. So they do have that one. <laughs> they have that one advantage, but I'll show you the one advantage that they don't have, or you could call it a disadvantage. <laughs> the main disadvantage that this brute has. Why is his neck so fat? What is this? It's seriously, Kellen, look, you're laughing at me from a distance, but look at this neck fat. He's a thick boy. Oh, then you, you put it on his head. Look. <laughs> What is, is that? that not part of the helmet? That's like I think it's just his neck because it's his skin tone. He also a thick boy brute. Yeah, but he's a really dope. Like, look at that. Look at that. That's actually really, really nice. And I would, apart from the neck fat, that would look good on new articulation figures as well. Just the amount of painted detail. There is some uh, minor errors, like the chip here, and there's some red paint speckles on the arm there. That's not meant to be. But still. Look at that. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. And they come with the old school base plates, especially the old base plates that actually had the code for the figure printed on it. So when people were finding blind bags for the first time and sharing the codes with the community, they'd just take pictures of the character and you'd be able to see the code. The code is also printed very clearly there. The new blind bags, it's actually quite difficult to see the code. Like they really don't want you seeing it clearly. Alpha series. Let's hear it for alpha series. Is that the, uh, the rare of the set or the, what is it? Let's see. Um, yeah, okay, it's a rare. We got a rare. That's cool that the two brutes are the rare and the ultra rare at the bottom. And that marine, ugh. Oh. I had a haul in Hong Kong where I bought a hundred of those blind bag marines. It was so dope. That's our first blind bag. And I think we're going to open one more today. And yeah, yeah, I know which one I'm going to open. It's got to be one of these series five. Four series five, all looking really fresh. Obviously, if I was to choose what I was going to get, it would be that flood. But you know, beggars cannot be choosers in this game. We're going to shuffle these up. Let's go. Series five. Wish me luck, everybody. For this one, I'm going to do a cut at the back because I don't want to damage any of the packaging on the front so you can still display it. And let's spill the guts from the backwards out. Three, two, one. Hey, the white CQB. There we go. And look at that. The series five. If we're going even further old school because it just comes with a brick, like literally just a brick, but it still has the printed code on it. You still know which one it is. Let's snap this CQB together. Oh, that was a real pop. And it's, uh, yeah, it's funny with these, how like they're all just ball joints, all just ball joints. I hope you enjoyed my video yesterday saying that there are only 10 days left for the Christmas Toymation Fest entries to be received. You can check that out on my channel. You can win huge prizes by submitting an animation by the end of this month. Spartan CQB, you're looking good, friend. Where is our new articulation CQB? Ah, uh, justice for CQB. I really would like that one day, like Halo 3 armors are just all my favorite. I have a huge, huge bias. And then he comes with a suppressed SMG, which I guess is a little peculiar considering you can't use this. Oh, you couldn't use the suppressed SMG in Halo 3. Now you can use the SOCOM and the SMG in three, but you couldn't at that moment when this was released. It was kind of a crossover between Halo 3 and ODST, which kind of, you know, it makes sense because Halo 3 Spartans, you know, existed at the same time as Halo 3 ODST, but still, you are looking really nice. That gold visor is applied well, but you can see this uh, line here is just uh, the injection molding. That's not meant to be there, but that's just sort of bubbled up. Never mind. And the black detailing running around. The old figures also had an advantage of having washes on them. And the washes added a real depth to it, like this sort of muddiness, this uh, dark. It sort of seeps into all the cracks and gives it, yeah, like a 3D effect. It like puffs it out, makes it feel more realistic, more gritty, more like a Spartan. White CQB. Hell yeah. I'm actually happy to get that CQB. That's a good haul. So out of our 16 blind bags, we've opened two. You can join me hopefully tomorrow where Shere Khan will actually be with me to open a few more. I'm not sure if we'll get it done it depends if we finish all of our filming for today, but I would love to sit down with him and open some blind bags. Just have a chat with him, like he's such a great guy. So look at that, some beautiful blind bags.
design bags there. Really beautiful. Let me know in the comments down below, did I get good pulls? I think so. Like the CQB is one of my favorites from series five. A lot of them are bland, like the Marines and the Spartan, the Grunt. I wouldn't want any of those. Even the Elite. So these three are definitely the ones that I would have wanted to get my hands on. So hell yeah, I'm uh, happy that I did. And what was the CQB? Oh, it was a rare. Yeah, it was a rare. Cool. So we got two rares. Hell yeah. And the ultra rare was the Air Assault. In series 5.5, it was the Black EVA. This set also came with chase figures. Random translucent figures that were to die for. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Hell yeah. Shout out to the uh, the CQB. Uh, shout out to old articulation, you know. It's got a time and a place. The nostalgia is real and I just love opening them. It just reminds me of my childhood, you know. I hope it does the same for you. Comment down below which black line bag reminds you the most of your childhood. You have a great day, you stay awesome, you stay safe, and the CQB is signing off.